You're still up? Bianca and Elisa's studio. Anticipation and apprehension. If you're drowsy, go ahead and sleep first. Elisa's diary has never been put aside. Places they have been, people they have met there, and their stories. For the last two years, she had changed several diaries, and she is still tirelessly recording what has happened today. V, say, say what is on your mind. What do you think of Calamity? Much better than I expected. Really? They had no problems in taking care of cases we handled today. What if you compare it to Brinjilda? It's unfair to put such a small company on the same line with a major company. Frankly speaking, I was surprised that this company was erected by that clumsy boy. He must have worked hard. He was only into what he was interested in. Someone with no capability to solve anything but to ask others for help. Hmm, that seems exaggerated. Irene seems very different from what she was when I first saw her. She was a hot-blooded girl who would sacrifice herself to save more people. <laughs> I was going to say, how, how is that different? I think that's what she is right now. It was a short talk, but I saw a glimpse of her fervor to become a troubleshooter. She seems to like her. Bianca's talk about her impressions of the company continued for a while. A cute kid with a beautiful smile, a chuckling, blonde glutton, a tough back street woman, and bare upper body Dalmatian. I was really surprised that Giselle was here. Elisa, what do you think of her? Giselle? Yeah, don't you think she's awesome? Bianca talked about a story about Giselle Wallenstein from a noble family of Karas Union ever since they began to travel. A person who abandoned the power and wealth of a noble family and proved her worth as a troubleshooter. For Bianca, who wishes to live such a life, Giselle was her idol. Well, I can't say anything because it's my first time seeing her. But looking at what she had done in the fields today, I can say she's more than someone such a small company deserves. I knew it. Giselle is tremendous. Bianca? <laughs> After Lisa has finished recording her diary, Bianca is asleep with a doll Pepe in her arms. Usually, Bianca would not have slept before Elisa finished writing her diary. She must have been tired. Good night, V. Litton. This town looks decent from here. Ashen Harbour Night Market. Truth and deceit. Did you change your hairstyle, Leeton? What is keeping you from leaving Calamity? I don't know whether it's Ray's request or your own will. Now that Carter is gone, I assume you don't need Calamity's help anymore. Perhaps I'm a fox. What the... Wait, is that a joke? Leeton and Haishing have been friends since they were young. However, there were Ray and Carter between the two, so they had not much to talk about. You still on the fine dining tour with Sian on the weekends? Sure. Callie told me that you and Sian are bugging her every weekend. I never know she felt that way. You seem very busy taking care of Ray and Anne in the fields. That is my role. How does your body feel? Can you endure it? I had no troubles until now. Will those problems regarding your body be solved if you return to the Fortress of Suffering? Probably. Then why didn't you join Carter? That would only make Carter suffer. So, what is this Fortress of Suffering like? Heixing spent four years in the Fortress of Suffering. Ray, Carter, nor Leeton could ask Heishing about his past due to their guilt. If the question bothers you, forget about it. It's no place for living creatures. Heishing explained to Leeton as briefly as possible about the Fortress of Suffering. 
Why didn't you stop Carter from going? Stop Carter? Sorry, I know it didn't make sense. Hashing his thoughts until he lost consciousness. W whether it was Ray's request or his own will, Hashing was the one who tried the most to stop Carter. I'd also let you escape the fortress still waiting for you there. What makes you think that way? I know the Fortress of Suffering is no place for a single man to plan an escape. What you have undergone, who you have met, what you experienced. We wholeheartedly wanted to ask you, but the guilt and sadness inside kept us from it. We're sorry, Heishi. I always wanted to know how you guys have been too. Yes, this is what we had to be like from the beginning. And with that, welcome to Troubleshooting Abandoned Children. And there's some new main storyline <laughs> DLC slash just one mission. As you probably have gathered from the intro. Mm, is there anything we want to do before we tackle that? I don't think so. So, everybody, as I mentioned before, we're going to close the office for three days. Really? Already? Right. The last three days this week. Aureen, Sian, I'll be rooting for you. You two are already far better than most of the official troubleshooters in this town. I'll be counting on you. Thanks, everyone. Let's keep the steam up, hero. You too, Sian. If you two engage in the test sloppily, I'm going to fail you. You're coming as a supervisor for this test? Yes, but not just me. All official troubleshooters who have been working for more than two years seem to have been summoned. Huh? Why? There are lots of examinees. That makes sense. The beginning of the age of troubleshooter. Subjugation of Skull of Yggdrasil District by Black Pearl. Extermination of Crime Cartel of Windwall District by Troubleshooter Calamity. As Mayor Carl Lane has been re-elected, he legislated dozens of policies to support the fostering of troubleshooters. Thanks to his efforts, troubleshooter companies have shown outstanding performances lately. As their performances have been widely broadcasted and advertised, one perceived as interest groups, tr once perceived as interest groups, troubleshooters have been thought of as the true heroes who would sacrifice themselves to the vote for civilians. That sentence almost made sense. Furthermore, the success of a small company owned by a young boss in his 20s motivated many young people who were lost in deciding the direction of their lives. They don't understand how hard we worked. Something that others have achieved seems like quite a piece of cake before they put their hands on it. I found an article that says the number of examinees in Windwall District is 10 times greater than last year. 10 times? That is because the crime cartel has been exterminated. No big danger. If things turn sour again, it will come back to normal. As for me, I would not have been a troubleshooter unless you guys suggested. Let me take a look. A hundred examinees in the second half of last year. That would be a thousand this year. A thousand? Yes. That explains why we all have been summoned. Even Roberto and Maximilian have been called. Oh, even they were called. Well, I'm... <laughs> They must really be in a pinch to call those two. Maximilian, he really was a troubleshooter. If I fail due to the increase of examinees, that is one thing I wish to avoid. Kali, hmm? please let me pass. Sion, that can't happen. Well, you're asking the wrong person. Skill test supervisors are there to help. Gradings will be done in BHPD. Well... No favors for those who raised the troubleshooter boom. Don't think silly. Just do it properly. You two won't have any problems. All right. Yep. Suggest a day off. Albus decides to close the company temporarily. Accepting Albus's offer will begin Irene's solo mission scenario. Please check your equipment beforehand. Well, I will certainly do that. Uh, but everything should be fine on her, I guess. I don't, <laughs> even if it weren't, it's not like I have much better. Um, yeah, I think increasing her HP is 
a good idea for a solo mission. So. Um, there we go. Everybody, I think we're good for today. Whoa. See you later. Irene, Sian, be sure to sleep early today. You two should have enough sleep for the test. Thank you. All members are off from work. Also, by the way, biggest change ever. You can now swap between tooltips on the bottom there. That's cool. To not regret. Training room of the Windwall District VHPD. She seems quite quiet today. What is she up to? You know, Mia. Have you seen Irene? Irene, three years old. Irene's playroom. Captivation. Irene Lion. Ever since she started to crawl, Irene was a tyrant of the playroom. As Irene crawled all over the place, she made fright and she made a frightful mess before her. Nora, her mother, had to hectically take care of Irene's traces. So for Nora, seeing Irene reading a book calmly was a delight and a relief. Lynn, you're reading a book? Irene stares into the book, not giving a single attention to her mother. Do you like this person? He's Jetstar. Jetstar? Jetstar, a hero who travels through space and punishes bad people. Irene Lyon, three years old, hero meets Jetstar. Hero? Yes, a hero. Hero? Lynn is showing interest in book. <laughs> Lynn is showing interest in book. I should buy more books that would help Irene. No way. You're an evil hero, Nigori man. Irene, nine years old. Front yard of her house. As your heart wishes. Let's up punch. The great devil Bighorn. Main lava villain. I hear Irene will not forgive you. Just like all other kids, Irene could not exactly remember the day she met a hero that captivated her. However, as lively and energetic as she was, Irene was making a hero out of herself. Lynn, I told you that a table cover is not a cape you can wear. Oh, a villain, Nora. Lynn, don't make me do this. Hero doesn't yield. Well, she is still young. Hero Irene, don't you think that the villains can escape if you leave them be like this? You should arrest them and lock them up. Well, you're right. Lava villain, how dare you try to escape? Hero Irene is watching you. Bighorn, you won't get away. Nigori man, you too. Irene delivers her hero speech to every single villain toy as she stores them into her toy cart. As she finished soaring them, Irene felt triumphant. Nora, I have arrested them. Nora? Nora, I have arrested all villains. Then, you know me as friends are here. Put the card back to where it belongs and wash. You know me, I'll have some snacks for you in the living room. Have them with your friends. Irene's sister, nine years older than Irene, you know me. She was pretty successful in school and earned dozens of awards and medals from the school. Whenever Eunomia came, everyone's interests moved to her. Lynn, what are you doing? Put the card back and come have some snacks. I was on my hero duty. You had enough. Listen to your mum when there are others. It's alright, mum. We can go to my room. Will you? I'll bring your snacks there. The world suddenly seems busy, except for Irene. Meanwhile, Eunomia approaches Irene. Then, the Horned Devil should be feeling even more bitter today. It's not Horned Devil, it's the Great Devil Bighorn. Oh, the Great Devil Bighorn seems terribly beaten. Yes, I'm a hero. Right, my sister is a hero. A day before the troubleshooter test. Decision. 
Oh, there's a Chet Star poster. I can't focus on the day before the test. Please don't say that I will fail the test. A pressure she felt a day before the test. Whenever she tries to close her eyes and soothe her mind, the memory of the past pops up and fills her head. She knows she had happy memories, but what disturbs her are the memories when her dream made her pitiable. All right. Lynn? Hello, it's me. Don't you need some sleep? You have a test tomorrow. Is it okay for you? Well, I can't sleep. It's okay. You have done your best. Even if you fail, you can always try again. Really? Oh, is this because her mum told you to come back home and I suggested to you to work where I work? Yeah. You and mum don't like me as a hero. Then. No, hero Irene. Have I or mum ever opposed the decision you made? No, but you don't like it. We don't. Who would want their daughter or younger sister to get hurt as she works? But I'm a hero. We're trying to convince you to have a safer job because we're worried. But we don't oppose you when you make up your mind. So don't mind it and focus on your exam tomorrow, hero Irene. If mum would say anything, I'll be on your side. Thank you. Well, but if you wish to join me in my company, say it any time. You know that your sister is a big shot here. All right, I'll tell you if I want to. Good. Now have some sleep for tomorrow. Okay. Thank you, Yunomia. Troubleshoot to test site C with full heart. If you are caught cheating, you will be expelled immediately. We also consider writing after the time is over as cheating, so please be careful. The nervous murmurs that filled in the room vanished immediately as the test has begun. The introduction of Troubleshooter System was Valhalla, Year 10. From the history of Troubleshooter System to examples of how laws and clauses were applied. A famous case in the past and proper way to handle cases in the field. A troubleshooter must inform the object of apprehension out of a battle that he or she is a troubleshooter. Then a troubleshooter can arrest the target. Some regulations are different from what Irene thinks as a way of a hero. Nonetheless, for her to work as a hero, she must embrace them. If I didn't have an experience in calamity, I would have said I won't forgive them all. What was this? Whenever she encountered a confusing problem, she came up with various possibilities, but the results were always the same. This must be the answer. Number 356, Irene Lyon. Yes. Congratulations, you have passed the written test. Please move to the skill test site. Yes. If you go right after you exit here, you'll find a VHPD building. You will have to choose A, B, C, or D group. Group? What is this? We have a whole lot of people from the written test this time, so we divided them up into groups. The skill test does not differ by the group you choose, so you don't have to care much about it. People are waiting, so please decide quickly. Uh, <laughs> I, wait, the supervisors of the group C are Isaac and Albus. A are Roberto and Maximilian. B are Kylie and Leighton, and D are Giselle and Elisa. Well, Kylie. VHPD training site B, to not regret. Kylie, next up is Irene. That's good news. I was bored to death. Can I fight Irene as the test begins? Suit yourself. Alright, I'll attack her if the situation is viable. I'll leave the jammers to you. Well... That's not ideal. If I knew I had to fight one of them, I would have taken Roberto and Maximilian. Number 356, Irene Lyon. Yes, it's Irene Lyon. We will begin with number 356, Irene Lyon's skill test. Irene Lyon, you must destroy all jammers or neutralize hostiles in the training site with the police squad in a limited time. It's finally beginning. 
Then the skill test begins. Destroy all dramas or defeat the defense team. Okay, how much time do I have? 9 to 20, 25. How big is the site? Uh, it's not small. Well, it would help if I knew where the enemy was. Mm, I'm not sure. Uh, actually. You know what? We'll start off over here. Let's go here. Um, we'll pull along one police officer into here. Okay, there's an enemy there. And there's Kylie. Okay, there's a couple of enemies there. Alright, so I think we should focus on that area first. Okay, there's eight targets left. Um, I don't suppose I can hit them from anywhere I can move, right? I mean, I can try it out. Oh, she's a striker anyway, so no. Move here then. And what do we have here? An upgraded smoke grenade. Is that worth it to throw? Potentially. Go on, throw that in here. Irene will do fine on her own. Yeah. That's all according to plan. And Leeton's over there. Oh. Through the wall? Alright. Irene. I kind of want to go towards Kylie, but she's hidden all the way back there. So I'll let her deal with that person first. Kylie. I wonder if she'll use her drones too. Oh, please don't. Um... Massive block chance, that's annoying. I guess we'll use that one because it'll kill for sure. It's the best way for that. Kylie dodged. Good. Very good. Um, why don't you move over here? I want to delay Kylie. That's my first Go. Blocking is fine as long as you don't dodge it. And you other guys over here. Why don't you hop out? Uh, that's not ideal. Alright. Go for the jammer then. Uh, we'll just <laughs> have Leighton come to us. That's fine. I could go towards Leighton, but no, 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 no. There's no need. Come here for now. And actually, you know what? Go over here. That'll do. Uh, adding 50 action time is not good here in this scenario. Okay, what if I put her over here and I stand by? Well, that barely matters. How much damage does she do? It's not amazing, but it's a decent chunk. Of course. Of course. Um. Alright, you know what? Come here. That's not bad. What about Kali? Uh, limited damage. That'll probably be better. More worth it. Uh, because I can now pull him here. Attack as well. Alright. And now the striker. Would kill. Would also do a pretty decent amount of damage to Kylie. Mm. You know what? Sure. Hit Kylie. It's alright. 
going into Overwatch. He's bleeding and healing. Uh, that's not good. Yeah, that's... Oh, he survived. That is unexpected. Uh, well, Kylie certainly won't do. The Overwatch shot doesn't matter. No, Kylie. Ah, uh, 62... I need her to die. That's the most important part. Sure. Good. Oh, I forgot about that. Damn charm of Sylvia. Kali won't have another turn before Irene, so that's fine. Um, you deal with him. You can do that, right? Yeah, okay, he's an overwatch, that's fine. You can take him out of overwatch. Um, I guess you kick Kylie. Or does bashing do much more? Uh, low kick does a little bit more. Alright. You. You know what? Come into here. Thirty-four uh, percent. Just take out the jammer, I guess. Uh, where are the other two jammers? I feel like I have to concentrate on that. Because I'm more likely to make that work than uh, defeating the enemies. Because Leighton's ridiculous, so I'd rather not fight against him. I'll just delay Kylie. That's fine. Can't kill Irene. And then we'll bring Irene over here. Leighton? I should be careful of freezing. You certainly should. Um, bring that VHP striker over here. Uh, can you... Ah, uh, that might... If it's a crit... Oh, That's fine. Uh, okay. Still fine. VHP striker. Hmm. Kind of just want to distract them a bit. Go here, be a target. You can conceal yourself, that's fine. Leighton? It's dodged. VHPD suppressor. You don't have much health. Do you just want to deal with Kylie? Or do I want you to come along as well? Where would you place yourself? You'd place yourself behind Kylie. That is not ideal. How much damage would you do to him? Not a lot. Mm, which means, you know what? Go here. Take some health. And then stand by. Actually, how much damage would you do now? No hit chance. So whatever. Stand by. Just need you to get your turn relatively quickly. Overcharge. She could run in, could eliminate that guy. She can't get to lead in time. That is slightly annoying, but I think I will just take the chance and hope that she survives whatever lead us to offer and do a decent amount of damage. That was a lot less damage than I'd hoped for. And that was way more damage than I expected. Jesus Christ. Um, That's not good. Oh, do I just want to get rid of Kylie? I guess I can delay her. Oh, just get rid of her. Yeah, that's fine. Um, I feel like she needs to come along. That's fine. That's potentially not fine. Okay, dodged. But she's so delayed. I feel like I just need to run for it. 
Mm, I can heal Irene. That's fine. Ow. He dodges it, of course. Oh, that's a good dodge. I don't think it'll help much, day. 207 action time. Um, would you like to sneak your way over there? Very quietly. At the same time, I just need to keep Irene alive. You just... Hmm. Where, where's the next? Uh, can you reach? Not you. Keep focusing on healing Irene up. And ideally throwing a smoke grenade just over here so that Irene is safe. You, why don't you sneak your way around here? I'm just going to overwatch that. That not prove to be a problem. Okay. Won't kill, but it'll do a decent amount of damage. Dodge a counterattack. You... Run over here. Irene's never going to get another turn, but that's fine. It's not an issue. As long as she dodges everything, we're good. She did not dodge that. We're less good. Uh, he gets his turn. That's not an issue. Go for him and put yourself between there. As long as my... Wait. He's... Or she... No, he's got more health for Irene. That is absolutely necessary. So please make it there. And put more health on her. And he gets another turn before Leeton gets his. And I can even delay Leeton further. Which is ideal. You can go for that, Jammer. Destroy it. And you can go for the other one. And just like that, We've completed the mission. Brilliant. Number 356, Irene Line. Your test has been completed. It's over. Thank you for your service, supervisors. Number 356, please leave the site through the exit on the left. The test result will be posted on the Windwall District VHPD homepage. I wish you have the best outcome. I've done my best. I quite like the way that played out. At the same time, see and Zoom, taking the same road. Hello, ma'am. This is Sion. Sion, how was the test? Are you confident? Yes, I passed the written test and I don't think I'll have any problem with the skill test. That is what I expected from Lightning Sion. Of course, I'm your son. Rian is working as a troubleshooter too, so contact him if you have any troubles. Um, I'll take of that. What? <laughs> Alright, stay healthy and keep in touch. Mission complete. Nice. Yeah, as I said before, I really like how that played out. I do not think there was any chance of me beating Leighton with Irene. I might have been able, like, at the point where I was at the end there, Leeton's action time was relatively high, so I think I might have had a chance. But pretty much the moment he counterattacks and hits Irene, she's dead. So I would have had to play around with a lot of the VHPD units I got, but this way was a lot nicer. Okay, it's payday. <laughs> Yeah, give Irene a bonus. That's fair enough. She doesn't need it whatsoever, but 
She did her best in the troubleshooter test. Alright. Uh, yeah, this is the end of currently developed scenario. Wait, Alisa's relationship with Sion changed towards unfriendly. I assume that must still be an upgrade over whatever it was before. Alright. So, this time it's a bit of a shorter episode, I assume. Um, the mission itself wasn't that long. But, I still hope you enjoyed it. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys whenever the next DLC part, whenever the next main storyline mission comes out. Until then, bye.